Welcome back. Our one tank trip this week is going to give you some indoor options for a family day trip. Yeah, you need those every now and then. Meteorologist mm -hmm. John Dawson helps us escape the heat and rain with a visit to Houston's Museum District. <laughs> I can't think of a better place to go in Houston for a day trip than the Houston Museum of Natural Science. How can you go wrong with dinosaurs? So our Paleo Hall has only been open for a year or two now, and we have many specimens that are unique, many things that are meant to be real crowd pleasers. We just got our sauropod back, our Diplodocus. This is a Jurassic dinosaur. It's Houston's first dinosaur. It's been remounted in a very dynamic pose. We have three Tyrannosaurus rexes. Most halls will just have one. We have three. One of our newest halls is the new hall of Texas wildlife. So this hall has over 250 species displayed of animals that are found in Texas. Many of them are very, very rare. Uh, and actually, it's over 350 different mounts that are contained within the hall. So when you come here with your family, there's a lot of other things to see as well. One of them is the Cockrell Butterfly Center. It'll have about 2,000 butterflies in there at any given time. It's three stories tall, and it's like you're taking a trip to the rainforest to see these things. Well, we could stay here all day, but it's time to eat. Let's head right down the road to Picnic Box Lunches. It comes with everything that you possibly need for a meal for the picnic. You know, we, we go ahead and prepare everything for you, so all you have to do is pick up a nice convenient box, and it has a, a pickle, a fruit cup, also uh, homemade cookies that we make every day. Uh, you get a nice sandwich, your choice of a, a numerous amount of sandwiches. Uh, we do the roasted turkey, chicken salad, tuna salad, egg salad, and that we make uh, all from scratch. So we're right down the road from uh, the museum district and many parks that surround us, so all you have to need to do is come by and pick up a box lunch and uh, just take it down the road. All right, well, our one tank trip started off at the Museum of Natural Science. We worked a little education in there with the kids as they had a lot of fun. You had some lunch, and now it's time to head over to the Children's Museum. Let's see if we've got any energy left in those kids. We have in total 14 galleries, and uh, Kitropolis is one of our exhibits. It's like one of our favorite exhibits. And the reason why is because it's a city for kids run by kids. We've got a, what we call the power tower, which is a climbing structure, and it's made out of uh, five miles of steel engine aircraft cable. It's the only one uh, of its size in the, U in the U.S., uh, and it's the only one in Texas. Flowers just got a facelift. You know, all you see is just this water, this fun water park, but it actually has more, there's more to it. Um, it's about fluid dynamics and harnessing energy. Um, you can make this into your family destination where a safe place to come out. Um, if it's in the summer, it's like, it's really nice and cool, so you don't have to worry about the heat. So we know that through play and through interactivity, that's how kids learn, and they learn the best through that way. And so everything that we have in the museum is catered towards that. It's super interactive, it's hands-on, minds-on, it's a lot of fun whenever you get to play with your mind and, um, and here at the Children's Museum. I'm meteorologist John Dawson.